Ah. You alright people? And welcome back to the Drunk Kitchen. And tonight we're going to make some chili lasagna. But first we've got a couple of scratch cards to do. We've got a £3 one, a £2 one and a £1 one. So we'll do them first and then uh, we'll get cooking. Okay. Right, so um, we need to find a pear symbol or a deer symbol. Right. <clears throat> nope, nope. Yep, yeah, one minute so far. Um, let's guess, I'm going to guess two pound. Yep, yeah, two quid. Right, now this one, <clears throat> my cousin's just won a... Well, I, I bought one of these, then my cousin bought one afterwards and he won ten pound. So I'm not sure if I'm going to win or not. <laughs> ah, there's more diamonds on the on the left hand side. Minute five to ten. Nope. Crossed fingers. Nope. I'm going to match three. What? Nah. Ah, so I, I, I told you that. <laughs> because we won the tenner. Right, and now we've got the super sevens. Um, I'll do half this off camera and half on camera because obviously it takes quite a while to do and it'll just take up some of the video space. Right, so we've got some of this done. So let's carry on. 52 and 31. 52. 31. That's it, isn't it? Sorry, it's 38 and 19. Do you mind if I take this pimple? Alright, take it eye. 30 and 27. Uh, looks like nothing. No. Nothing. We'll double check it. So I've just missed it out, I have one. We've got a 41 and a 52. Right, come on, wish me luck, guys. Alright, I'm going to say a fiver. Yeah, five quid. So I might have missed something else out. Let's just check. One video. So yeah, seven pound. Um, I went to the shop with seven, seven pound. Bought myself a packet of batteries and um, a was it one of these? No, one of these. Cause um, I bought these two while I was in town earlier, and then I bought this one at the shop just then when I went to buy a packet of batteries. So yeah, I've won um, what seven quid. So well, that can go towards some cans, and then uh, <laughs> yeah. Laugh the top, man. Right, time for a down off. I've got a uh, cider. jono has got Stella. Stella. <coughs> right there. Three, two, one. <sighs> go. So what we're going to be using is obviously some yeah, <coughs> obviously, obviously some lasagna sheets, we're using some uh, spicy chilli bolognese, some uh, creamy you know, lasagna sauce, we're using some cumin, seasonal, Cajun seasoning, some Worcestershire sauce, Nando's peri peri salt, a beef oxo cube, Need some tomato puree, some jalapenos, um, chua cheese, grated obviously. We're using two cloves of garlic, a seasoning mix for chili. We've got chopped onions and chopped uh, mushrooms, and also obviously we've got to be using the uh, the ground beef. So let's get started. Hello, Leo. Hello Leo. Oh, is that right lad? What can you smell? Hey? Probably me. Right, so we're just going to fry these for about 6 to 8 minutes. That may look like a lot, but it'll shrink down. So, we'll get back to you once these are cooked. Let's go and check on the uh, weather outside. Yeah, 
Yeah, the weather's looking good. The house down there is coming on quite well. I need to use it in wet um, <coughs> weather. It's a bit better because I was gonna fucking uh, uh, use it in cleanies and then like I do for half and then try and fucking um, like use it to get some fucking uh, business fucking glasses and whatnot. Alright. Yeah, that's that smart. Alright, oh, smart, like right, I. Oops, wrong word. Right, so we've got the onions and mushrooms cooked there. I've just put a little bit of butter in there just to get this beef cooked through. So I'm going to put this beef in there. Get this piece off. And we'll throw that into the bin. And wash our hands. Yeah. Just to sit on like a tabletop, not like a, a big yard with a coin fucking up here and dinner. Aye. Just for myself, really, yeah, see if I can do it. <coughs> Right, so we just want to brown this meat through. Uh, don't overcook it, just cook it till it goes brown. And uh, obviously, yeah, you need to put that uh, the beef stock cube in um, so it cooks into the meat. So once it's just turned brown, then um, I'll get back to you and show you what to do next. But uh, just keep keep stirring it. If you're going to leave that, it's going to burn, but you know, just keep stirring it so the meat cooks nice and evenly through until it's browned off. Right, so now we've got our beef dried off, uh, dried off, <laughs> cooked. We need to drain off some of this grease. Which is going to be pretty hard because the, uh, the, uh, lid on my pan's broke, so, you know. You've got a colander. That'll do. Oh, well, that'll do. You don't there wasn't much grease in there anyways, you know what I mean? That's, uh. Off. Okay, so now what we need to do is we shall. Okay, so now we're gonna add our uh, bonus sauce, and uh, this is all that's left with a little piece in. So all we do is I, I don't drain it. a little bit of water, lid back on. And then back into your mix and then before we stir that in we're going to add some um, herbs and spices so let's put in um, let's say uh, a tablespoon or two of cumin which will be hot enough for most people we've got some uh, seasonal about a tablespoon Cajun seasoning about the same, and some peri peri salt, that's a tablespoon, it may seem like quite a lot of seasoning but you know, it will all depend on the taste really nice, it's not going to taste salty, it's going to uh, you know, combine to a really nice flavour, and uh, so we'll mix this through, once we've mixed this through we shall add the um, it may look runny, but that's what we've got um, the uh, tomato puree for. Right, so now we're going to add the uh, tomato puree, which will thicken this chilli up. And then... Worcestershire <coughs> sauce, which is not left off. <laughs> I didn't even realise that. I didn't even realise it was not left. <laughs> but this is the drunk kitchen. Things like that are supposed to happen. <laughs> right, and now the uh, seasoning mix for chilli. 
Now, yeah, it does say mild, but we've added spices to it as well, so, uh, yeah. So, we'll put this in there. And the, uh, the jalapenos, you can even mix them in with this. But what I tend to do is, um, once you've got the lasagna all laid out, and your cheese on top, I just uh, sprinkle uh, jalapenos all over the top of the lasagna. And um, if you don't know what I mean, then uh, you'll, you shall see soon. But we need to let this simmer for 40 to 45 minutes. If you've got a slow cooker, put it in there for 40 minutes to an hour. Keep stirring it. But what we're going to do is leave that on there for about 40 to 45 minutes. And then uh, we'll get back to you. We'll probably be we'll, we'll probably be like, we, we will probably be really drunk by the time we get back to you. But <laughs> I'm slurring my words right now. But yeah, we shall see you do, 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 soon. Um, now you, you could add kidney beans to this, but um, I didn't want to. So yeah, it's optional. Second down off. Right, this is 6% scrumpy, Joe Lord's got um, Stella, four, again. 4.8%. Right, <clears throat> 3, 2, 1 in Williamson style, goodbye. Ah, get it down, yeah. Uh, Boost. Yeah. I don't know, probably because it's out of a glass bottle. <gasps> Stop fucking Stop Leo, get, get, get down, Leo. Have a smile. 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 Have Layer of sauce. Spread it out. Might need a little bit more than that. Just spread this out evenly. And then we need our lasagna sheets. Let's rip these right open. And then... White sauce over this. Just a thin layer. Spread this out. And just repeat the process. And then this time we place them lengthways on rather than vertical ways on. So then now we just need um, a little, if I can break it off properly, just uh, a little piece like that. And then, um, yeah, just some, uh, a little bit more chilli on top of this. And now, we're going to place them <coughs> this way. These are quite brittle those on your sheets, so oh well, it's, it's all going to be the same in the end. You know, just stick them on like this. This is the drum kitchen, who cares if it's perfect or not. So now with the rest of the sauce. 
pull this over. Oh. Mm. Let me just clean this up a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to sprinkle the cheese over the top. Right, so we've got this ready to put into the oven, but first thing we need to do, well, the last thing we need to do is jalapenos. So I'll just put the jalapenos all over the, um, all over the top. And that's ready to go in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how powerful your oven is. Gas oven, electric oven, you know, 35 to 40 minutes, basically. Mm. So, yeah. Right, so this is now in the oven. That's just some saw being put in. We will check back to you in uh, 30 to 35 minutes and see how it's doing. Right, this is down off round, is it free? Free, I think, yeah, alright. Down off round free. Down right there. Three, two, one. Uh, and we, three, two, one. Oh! Three, two, one. In Williamson style, goodbye. Wrong way. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice uh, chili lasagna with jalapenos and nice strong cheese. All we need to do now is leave that to cool for 15 minutes. Otherwise, when you try and get it out, it's going to be like glop. Leave it for 10 or 15 minutes and get it out like nice individual squares. So we'll leave that for 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll get back to you for the taste test. So this is this is down off round, is it either four or five? Is it four or five? Four, I think. Is it four? Feels like five. So three, two, one. <laughs> In Williamson style, goodbye. <laughs> And that can be the thumbnail. Drink that, which I mean, it's Right, so here's the thumbnail. That will be the thumbnail. And uh, my cousin's going to do an hour taste test. If it's not too hot. Just uh, be careful in case it's too hot. I'll get you one of them. I'll have peppers in it. That might be like scalding hot. You <laughs> think? Uh, a bit hot, like, yeah. Uh, delicious though, I'll, I'll take a smaller bit. It took me time chowing it up. Take it uh, down, Leo. Is that nice? Mm. Lovely, eh? Like, thick, cheesy. Thick, cheesy. Like, uh, Spicy. Spicy. Well, there you go, people. Spicy, spicy uh, lasagna. Yeah. And uh, if you want to copy that recipe, then uh, yeah, there you go. And just for the end of the video, me and Joel I might do one more down off. <laughs> no, I got them. Why not? Why not, yeah. No. All right, then, people. In three, two, one, in Williamson style, goodbye. So there we go, that's nice and spicy lasagna, let us know what you want to see in the comments to cook next, until then, we'll see you all later, keep drinking, peace out, take care.